morning. Good morning, fellas. We are at home. Yep. And look at my airbags. They are completely empty. I hate that. Mud flaps are pretty much touching the ground. And that's what I'm going to go get fixed. I hope so anyways. I've been having air leak problems lately and that's just starting to piss me off, you know. I've got a few fixed already, but we still have a few air leaks. So I'll go start up the truck and air up the truck. Probably go wash it. Have a look at that. That is just pure ice. I mean, uh, pardon me, salt from driving in Ontario. I mean, look at my look at my rims. That is ugly, ugly. Yep, look at the back of my tractor. Man, there is a lot of salt on there. Look at that. That's just pure salt. Look at that. That's just a couple of centimeters or a couple of millimeters. Just pure, pure ice. But anyways, we'll go get that taken care of. And then at least we get the truck over to the shop. So we will be seeing you a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We uh, finished washing the truck. Yep, everything is nice and uh, nice and shiny again. Look at that. Yeah, no more salt on here. Yeah, well, probably have a little bit of salt on here somewhere, but uh, way less salt than we had before. Look at the rims. Now you can see them again. And uh, yesterday when I was, uh, I think I told you guys a little bit that my steps broke off. I'm just going to show you guys. Look at that. That's the strap. I just bungee corded up here and hope for the best and it still stayed on there. So here we go. We'll go over to mechanic and uh, get that fixed, you know. So we'll see you down. Now we are at that co-op store where uh, we buy the ribs and they got this machine right here. My uh, my dad says he uh, he's gonna take this one home soon, but I think I might have to buy a ticket. Probably get the small machine for me, you know. I am in the backyard again, and I just made a fire. Just getting her going right now. You bet. You probably know what that means. We're gonna be cooking something outside. So. As you know, you probably get to know me. Whenever I'm home, there's almost guaranteed to be something cooking outside. I mean, it's no different today. Yep. Had a great day. Went out uh, to breakfast with the wife. Took her out. The kids were in school, you know. Had great breakfast and took the truck over to the mechanic and uh, he's not going to have time to take care of business today but he said he will take care of that tomorrow so we're going to be spending an extra day home I was going to plan on going out tomorrow again I need some extra miles to pay for all these repairs right but that's just not going to happen and I do need that strap to be fixed on the uh, diesel tank otherwise it's no say it's no longer safe for me to continue driving like that so uh, but anyways, my fingers are getting cold. It's pretty cold, so I'll put the camera down. Well, it is dark outside. And I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit what we're doing. Yep, that is what we are doing. We got some nice beef ribs out here. But it's cold, so I'm going to go inside. Well, we are just about ready to eat. And just take a look. This is really nice and juicy beef ribs. Oh yeah, got a little bit of a salad. We'll have a nice bite to eat. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed another barbecue video. I'm hoping that you guys will be uh, really hungry now. You know, that's my trick. <laughs> Get you guys all Get your mouth all watery and juicy for a nice barbecue, right? But uh, I had a friend yesterday, he asked me, does it ever get too cold for you to not have a barbecue outside? And I said, nope, I don't think so. It hasn't gotten cold enough yet. But <clears throat> anyways, we had a great evening and we're calling it a day. 
so I hope you guys liked the video if you uh, are a new uh, viewer I would uh, hope you would subscribe to my channel and uh, hey for those of you guys that are subscribed thanks very much for subscribing to me and uh, hey don't forget if you like the video somebody else would like it too so please share it and hit that thumbs up button and we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.